the eagle has landed. <laughs> Hi here, Finn Sip. I am back for another video. Today, I am going to be talking about everything Albania for Eurovision 2022. Yes, the songs for Festival e Kunga 60. Yes, the big success um, is here. I've got 20 songs and I'm going to be reviewing them on my sheet of paper right now. So yes, um, now, Festival of Congress is a, quite a long selection, there's 20 songs this year, which is five less than last year, however, there is a lot of songs to review, so I've come up with an alternative reaction, I've already reacted to all 20 songs, but I've made notes for all the songs I've just listened to, so without, like, unlike listening to the whole song, I mean, seeing a reaction, I've written some notes, um, about uh, my favourites and what I think of the song um, and I have now time to digest who are my favourites are. Um, so let's go over them very quickly, so there's 20 songs and talk about them. So song number one was Alban Ramsha with the song Tensha. He is a 25-year-old Albania singer, songwriter, director and fashion model. He's known for participating in The Voice of Albania. Um, and last year he won the 22nd edition of Kenga Mushka. Um, my notes is it's a mysterious start. It starts off with a calm beat, but then it gets dramatic. Um, it's ballad. It's his voice is very passionate and I can feel his pain and it's it's very Balkan, it's got that very Balkan sound to it. I quite like it, it was a good start to my re reactions and yeah, I quite liked it. Then we had Denis Sukrona with Penznuka Sveta Mama. Um, he is quite an opera singer in Albania. Um, it had a calm start. Yes, very opera. Very, very opera kind of song. Impressive vocals. The song I think was about his mum, I got from. Um, but it does go on for a bit. It does drag on for a little bit, in my view. Next, we have Eldis Antridge with... Refuge. <laughs> um, my notes. It was a slow start, quite soft, very dreamy sounds, but there was no immediacy, and it was kind of slow rock all heard this before so it just didn't get my attention unfortunately when I listen to the song. Then we have Esther Zari with the song Hinja. My notes for her was it was a nice voice, gentle, Calm ballad. Um, it does pick up pace. Um, it's good, but it's just not amazing. Sometimes I just want amazing, and I think while it was nice and good, I want amazing. I want amazing. Um, but there is potential. Potential. And then we have Eva Rakni, her song Me Dusia. <laughs> The second time participating in Festival of Congress. I re can't remember her last year. Um, notes, calm start. I think there was a Spanish guitar in there. It's quite a little bit happy in there. It sounds of summer, kind of summery. It's not quite the appropriate time, but we have a Christmas tree behind me. 
Um, but it does loop on a bit, and it kind of things like it. it does go on a bit, unfortunately, which is a shame, but not too bad. Then we have Grja Krukni with Ni Irm Nepetiti. I apologise. <laughs> My notes, slow start, just a typical Albanian ballad. He's got a good voice, but it's just not amazing, and it actually ended up being a little bit forgettable. I'm kind of thinking what the song did sound like, actually, going back to these notes, but yeah. Um, just wasn't the one for me. Then we had Janex with Dushna. <laughs> Um, he's, they competed in thick in 51, 52 and 53. Um, now, what did I put some in seven? Oh yeah, interesting start, gentle voice, different, but needs to go somewhere. It just didn't, it didn't have a journey as stuff, it was just a bit one note. Yeah, it needed to go somewhere, but it was very interesting and very intriguing, got my attention. Then we have Kalstra Zero with Kunja. Um, he's been in Festival Congress in 58 and 59, I think I remember him last year. Um, had a laid back start, quite a gravelly voice he's got. Um, it was a bit aggressive, he sounds angry. Um, oh, and there was a choir in the background, which is interesting. I think his last year's song was a bit better, I have to say. I feel this is like a bit of a downgrade from last year. It was not bad, but I wanted more from him. Then we got Kelly with Meteor. <laughs> Done Festival Congress in 46, 51, 53, and 57. Um, I put a laid back start, good voice, goes somewhere, sounds a little bit on the dated side though, and we can't have dated actually, sadly. Less. Then we've got Kishta Rushta with Vorja Me Too. Did I put song in the ten? Good tone of voice. I liked her tone of voice. Has potential, but it does need a revamp though. It's an okay song. Yeah, again, I want amazing. Then we had Olympia Sumjir with Dua. <laughs> There was immediacy in this. Uh, there was a bit of a tribal feel at the start of the song. It was upbeat compared to some of the ballads. Uh, and a little bit sassy side. A bit sassy. And it does get my attention. It does um, compared to some of the other songs that's in. But it's one of those that does get my attention. Then we have Marood with Perjduka. <laughs> been in the festival of Kubis before, 57, 59, I remember from last year. Um, what did I put? He has got a bit of a slower song. Last year I remember he had a bit more of an upbeat dance song last year, so he's gone through a bit of a ballad this year. Good vocals, really good vocals from him. Bit of a Spanish guitar again in there, and I had a good chorus. I like the chorus in this. Other songs, you know, quite forgettable chorus, but this I think had a really good chorus to it. I liked it. Actually, it was one of actually one of the ones I quite liked. And then we had 
Samir Sila with Men Muska. He's best known, well, he's, his daughter actually represented Albania in the Junior Eurovision Song Contest in 2019. I remember that. Um, his song, however, had a slow start, it was a bit sleepy, a bit boring. It was nice, but it wasn't amazing. I just didn't feel the impact. I thought it's just one of those songs that it's okay, but it just wouldn't get your vote, sadly. Then we had Reshma Sumja with I Jamanus. Um, <laughs> She's competed six times in a row from the 51st to the 56th edition of the festival. Um, I said this was interesting start, it was intriguing, it was quite ethnic, different. Um, I quite liked it, it was upbeat and had a nice instrumental and yes it got my attention. I didn't really, well I listened to like most of the songs in full but I skipped bits. This one I didn't have to get any of it, I just listened to the whole song because I was really intrigued and I really liked it with all the sounds and got my attention. Is it a masterpiece? Not exactly but it's up there, it's up to the top for me. Then we had Ronna Archer with Stirkrat. did I say for her? Gentle start, there was a lot of voices at the start, but then, out of nowhere, it was very unexpected. They had eagles, and then it was a bit upbeat, and then it was a bit ethnic. It got my attention as well, and I quite liked it. It was very, had a bit of a rap in it. Very interesting, that, and I quite enjoyed it, because at least it mixed it up a little bit from all the other songs. Yeah, got my attention. And then we had Steffi and Edri Periphity with Terufi I Gentus. A slow start, a long start, good voices, a bit rocky, but a bit boring. It's just another like uh, ballad, duet, sing before, heard before, done there, being that, done there kind of song. So unfortunately, it just blended in like the rest, unfortunately. Then we've got Shekna with Nia. <laughs> Whistling at the start, it's a bit laid back, gentle, calm, doesn't go anywhere. It's a, once again one of those songs that was a bit one note, and I wanted more. I wanted more. Um, then we got Urban Band with Perjasti. <laughs> Edition of Festival Gungus. Um, rocky, good voice, a rocky, a rock song I've heard before, and a bit dated rock. It's like Bulgaria rock this year, 2022 rock. Um, yeah, it's just been there, done that kind of rock kind of song. Lacks originality. And then we have Vuela Kashmila with Era Sia Era. Uh, what did I put for the uh, calm start? Nice song, nice voice, but not groundbreaking. 
sex needs to go. <laughs> it needs more. It needs more. It needs more to grab me. And then finally, song number 20 was from Kersha Pushti with Balada. Balada, <laughs> sorry. Um, it's not even. With Balady. Balady? I don't know. I need to Google Translate before I. Um, this is reaction, anyway. Um, enchanting, I put. Nice voice. There was a nice guitar in it. But it was a bit sleepy and a bit safe. Okay. So, out of the 20, I've got to say. I think most of the majority of the songs are really songs for Albania. I mean, it is a very Albanian national selection. I think, I mean, there was a few out there that, you know, could do well at Eurovision. I think, yeah, most of them probably need revamps, to be keeping it real. But they weren't all terrible. There were some good ones. My favourite was the first song, um, Albanrishma. It was the first one I listened to. I'd like that. It was quite dramatic. And then there was two ethnic ones. Song... What song number 14 I listened to? What's her name? It was... Rishta Sanja. I liked her. And I also liked Rolana Sanjti. Song 15. And I also liked Marud's song. Um, um, what number was he? He was... Uh, 12, he's from 12. So those are the four I liked. I wouldn't mind if any of those four win. If any of the others win, then we call this. I think we really need a revamp. But, you know, some of these songs have potentials. I am a bit tired tonight, so I may be being a bit mean on some of these songs. But yeah, watch this space. In any case, thank you so much for watching. What were your favourites in Festival Congress 60, 2021 into 2022? Comment down below in the comment section below and like and subscribe to this video. I'll be back for more content very soon. Goodbye, people. Bye.